Hey guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Lost the Epilogue. Yes, we have been told that this is on the Season 6 box set, or it's like in the Season 6 DVD case or whatever. I don't know. It's it's an epilogue, so we don't know much about it, but it's about 12 minutes long. 12 minutes long. And it was and, highly recommended. Yeah. So with that being said, I mean, we don't know what to talk about or what it's about or what anything, so I think we should just get into it. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Let's do it. How soon do you get those peas labeled? I don't know, a couple hours. Hurry it up, man. I already got the rest of the pallet loaded. I don't know why yours in such a big hurry, man. That's why. We're gonna miss our launch window. I don't want to be up half the night loading damn boxes. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse How me. You? How'd you get in here? My name is Benjamin Linus. I'm from the home office. Nobody from the home office has ever come out here. There's a new man in charge. He sent me. Sent you to do what? Tie up a few loose ends. Your services are no longer required, gentlemen. We're closing this place down, so you're free to go. <laughs> but we've been loading the pallets under the drones for like 20 years now. What are we supposed to do? This is your severance pay. I'd say you can do pretty much anything you want. Okay, so no more pallets? So, you work with the Dharma Initiative? The Dharma Initiative hasn't existed in almost 20 years. That's not true. We still get a teletype before every drop. It's automated. It comes from the lamppost station in L.A. There hasn't been a person posted there since you two started. That's why the man in charge has me going around closing up pallets. Lamp post station. I've already said more than I should have. Before you leave, uh, please lock the doors and turn on the lights. Wait! You, you can't just walk out of here. We deserve answers! We deserve answers. All right. Before I go, I'll let you each ask a question. Just one, so make it count. Where have we been sending these pallets? Where are they dropped? In Ireland. How's that possible the coordinates are different every time the island moves how does the island uh -uh. one question your turn we're on guam so this island is i mean technically he answered two right? questions there so explain this polar bear biscuits how is there a polar bear on the tropical island polar bears actually plural <laughs> You guys have a DVD player? So we watch it together and then we all leave. Is that a deal? Yeah, okay. Deal. We have a new we have a video. Dharma video. Is it a, one of the old ones Sorry or a new one? It's a transfer from an old Betamax. Yeah, it's an old one. Okay. Hello. I'm Dr. Pierre Chan. This is the orientation video for Station 1 of the Dharma Initiative, the Hydra. For purposes of security, please do not divulge my name to any outside parties. I will not have to resort to using an alias in the future. The chief purpose of the station is to conduct biological and behavioral research on various animal, bird, and marine subjects. But here are some of the duties you may be asked to perform. <laughs> alteration. These fascinating hybrids, or hybrids as we call them, will be released and monitored to see how they adapt to the unique properties of the island. Best for advanced studies in larger mammals. Ursus maritimus, polar bears, possess a keen sense of memory and adaptability. These traits make them ideal candidates for electromagnetic studies that will be conducted at a secondary site where their comfort in cold temperatures. It's very important when dealing with the bears that you do not show affection 
or become attached in any way. Also, do not underestimate their intelligence and cunning. These rules must always be followed. I repeat, uh -huh. the bears are not Yeah, perfect. I'd say so. Rewarding the bear with a fish biscuit once it has successfully performed the complex puzzle. After the training is completed, you will tranquilize the bear, affix this tracking device around the subject's neck, at which point it will be transported to the orchid station for the next phase of research. Remember, be sure to confirm that the female bears have not been impregnated before transport, as the electromagnetic levels at the orchid have an extremely harmful effect on early term gestation. As you've already learned, I guess that's answering one of your questions about why what happens to pregnancies. Mm -hmm. Humans. And so there is another more secluded test site where we are conducting significantly more sensitive work. The island's indigenous population, some of you may have heard them referred to as hostels, are acquired on the main island, sedated, and brought here to room 23. Of course it's room 23. Because the subjects are unwilling participants, the security personnel should always be present during these sessions. Under no circumstances are you to engage subjects in conversation. The purpose of these interrogations is to better understand the hostel's way of life, their origins, and particularly their worship okay. of an island deity they refer to as Jacob. After the research team has concluded their tests, inject this to the back of the subject's neck place these goggles over his or her eyes. Hitting this switch will commence the visualization while the drugs take effect. The dream-like quality of the film combined with the cutting-edge pharmaceuticals will create an amnesia of sorts. to temporary troops in the hostels is not violated. This concludes your orientation of the Hydra station. Good luck, and remember, do not discuss the nature of these experiments with other members of the initiative. Enjoy your time here on Hydra Island. Namaste, and good luck. Man, maybe giving them some LSD or some shit. You see that? I think we're gonna yeah. need to see that again. <laughs> Sorry, we're out of time. What did they do to those bears? And what the hell's a hostel? Too many questions. Bye, gentlemen. I have another call to make. <laughs> okay, bye. Namaste. I think I know what's going on here. Hello, I'm here to see Keith Johns. Are you on his visitors list? No, but I'm sure if you give him this note, he'll want to see you. Wait. Hello, Walt. That's what I was like, wait. What are you doing here? Who's well, he going to see? <laughs> Oh, I have any friends. We all have friends. Even me. You here to kidnap me again? I'm genuinely sorry about that. But what's done is done. I can't change the past. I can only take responsibility for it. Walt, I understand what you've had to go through. I know the difficulties you've had pretending to be someone that you're not. Island needs him. Starting I was literally thinking that in my head, and I'm like, the island needs you, Walt. Well, father's dead. Doesn't mean you can't help. Will you go with us, Walt? Don't 
Dharma granola bar. Come on, it's okay. Be right shotgun. Got that Dharma van too. Right there. Dude. It's great to see you, Walt. I kept hoping one day somebody would come back for me. So that was crazy. You're not crazy, dude. Not even close. You just need to get back to the island, that's all. It's where you belong. It's where you've always belonged. Why? I talk to you about a job. <laughs> all right, Ben. Let's get out of here. It's time for us all to go home. I'm going to talk to you about a job. Are we talking about like a Richard type job? So what did you think of the epilogue? What did you think? You haven't seen it? I have not seen that. And Boom. I just got out of a reaction of like 150 million episodes. Let's hear what you got to say. Uh, I thought the epilogue was okay. I think it was just mostly showing like how Hurley is running things. Obviously, he left the island, so he doesn't have to stay on the island. Um, well, he... Remember what Ben said? Yeah, what did Ben say? Ben said, um, this is your chance to change some, you know, change some of the things or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. This is your chance to change, like, that's how Jacob ran things. How Jacob ran, You yep. can run this however you want to run things. So, he's running it differently. I don't know, I mean, obviously he's stopping the shipments of the pallets of food and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure why that is. I mean, do they just not... He doesn't need to eat anymore. Or he doesn't need to be on the island anymore is what it seems like to me. So no point in sending food there. I don't know, but he said to Walt, let's all go back to the island because that's where we belong. So they're all going back to the island, but they're not having any anything else delivered there ever again is what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're trying to cut off all ties to the island so there's no chance of any accidents maybe i don't know i thought it was decent though. i think you did really well <laughs> did i steve i'm fried i'm emotionally steve wrecked is, steve is emotionally fried from that finale um it's not no it was nice to see walt it was nice to see really walt. nice I, it was nice to um, see that but what where does this go from here i mean it's been what how many years since what you know oh, like, like 12 years does or this change i mean there's not going to be any more, if that's what the know. question is. It was nice seeing Walt because that was kind of something that was left kind of in the shadows of Lost. Is and like Ben. What happened? Well, we knew, at least we knew what happened to Ben. With Walt, we didn't know Did really we? what happened with him. We knew we, he was special. Like, what? what's the deal with Walt? You we know we I mean? really didn't know what happened to Ben. Because he sat outside the church and... Well, that was because he wasn't ready to move on yet. Right. And so I feel like this here kind of explains he's working with her like as his number two. Doing, you know, getting... Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what he's doing. Yeah. So it, it, it does play into a couple of my questions I did have. So yeah. I am thankful for this because that was my big question coming out of that. If you watched the last video, that was... I'm confused about Ben. And I really didn't have an answer. Yeah, so Ben in the in the sideways flash, he is dead in that. And he's just not ready to move on yet. He said he still has some things to work mm -hmm. out. Yep. Now, what we're seeing in the epilogue here is not a flash sideways. It's real. Real. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that difference there. Like when we last saw Ben, it was Hurley asking him to. So we knew that he was going to be. But we didn't know how he was going to go about doing it. We know that he was at least an effective leader when he was leader of uh, the, the others. others. 
He was effective. He may not have, he never went about it in the right ways, but he was effective. Now I feel like he, his intentions are good and he's regretful for every mistake that he's made in the past. And so I think that now is the right time for him to take that. Now's the right time for him to get some of that power that he's always wanted so bad. In the right way. In the right way. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, I thought that epilogue was uh, was really good. Thank you guys so much for watching it with us. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Share the video and squish that bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Until next time, peace out.